predict the final product in the following reaction. So if you see the reactant, there is a ketone and aldehyde. It is treated with glycol and dry HCl. You will get a compound. Compound is treated with HCN followed by hydrolysis. So now let us see how this reaction takes place. Now there is ketone here and aldehyde. So when you treat this compound with ethylene glycol, aldehyde is more reactive than ketone. So aldehyde forms a cyclic ketal or cyclic acetal. So what will I get? I will get a compound like this. Now this compound is treated with HCN. Ketone reacts with hydrogen cyanide to form cyanohydrin. So what will I get? OH CN this compound on hydrolysis. On hydrolysis cyanide will get oxidized to give carboxylic acid. So what will I get here? OH and COOH. Then C OH OH and glycol. But two OH groups on the same carbon atom unstable. They lose a molecule of water to form aldehyde. So what is the final product? OH COOH CHO. This is the final product obtained in the reaction. So the final product obtained here is OH COOH CHO.